Hello YouTube, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood Green Party rap for Humber St. Barb Favorite. I hope you enjoyed my blacksmith video in this particular series of eight, nine videos. Now to discuss pottery. Now, preferably we won't have a particularly hairy potter, but all puns aside, we need we need someone to actually be able to cultivate clay into goods. I want someone to be able to turn a, a porcelain, a block of porcelain clay, the white grainy material, into the stuff. I want to be able to make our own cups and bowls and glasses, even though they'll be clay, clay drinking vessels. Don't actually be made of glass. Glass blowing is ridiculously energy intensive. Any of you who enjoy pottery, who are halfway interested, I hope you are if you're watching this particular video, I wasn't until I began researching it. Fascinating stuff. I recommend you research a, um, a artisan by the name of Leech on YouTube. Uh, I forgot his first name now, but if you look up Leech Pottery, uh, his first initial is S, I'm pretty sure, uh, Stephen Leech or something like that, amazing, amazing guy, funny as hell, and amazing talent, what, what, what an artisan. He inspired me to how easy it is to create everything you need, as long as you have the practice and the willpower. He was the first person to ever introduce me, I, I guess, introduce the world, since I just watched his videos, never met the man in person, um, to Raku pottery, it's a Japanese tradition, and by exploring pottery from other individuals, I researched Japanese pottery and Peruvian pottery, and uh, my typical anal retentive behavior to find out every single iota of information I can on a given topic in a given period of time, which is usually until I lose interest, days or weeks, but um, it's amazing. Um, Mr. Leach Jr., his father created the Leach Pottery Wheel, which is amazing. It is so functional and so beautiful in its simplicity. It's startling. No power, completely treadle powered. A treadle, T R E A D L E, is a foot power. A complete treadle powered device that is a complete functional wheel that you can, you know, uh, after you wedge your pottery, you can center it and completely do your thing, tear it off, and away you go. No fuss, no muss, beautiful. And we can build it, no sweat. I want an army of potters. Uh, well, by population standards, a lot of our industry will be pottery. Making plates, bowls, um, mugs, cups, glasses, I guess, uh, water, um, 10, 12, 16 ounce uh, beverage holders. We'll call them glasses. Um, especially for sale. We can even do cosmetic things like um, large mixing bowls and salad bowls. I want very little glass in the project. The amount of energy required to melt silicate sand into glass is out of this world. It does not make sense. The amount of energy to fire a kiln full of pottery is pennies by comparison. It's ridiculous. So, to hell with glass. Uh, most of our appliances, by way of uh, dishes and even cookware, will all be pottery. Um, ovenware will be pottery. I think the um, rangeware, like a skillet and that kind of stuff, have actually have to be made by the blacksmith because we're going to be using induction ranges much like the induction forge, see the blacksmith video, should be the previous one. Um, 
Induction ranges can produce current in cookware without actually producing heat in a strict speak, uh, strict matter of speaking. Um, and cook very, very, very efficiently. A lot of the professional restaurants use induction ranges. Check out some YouTube videos, do some research. Induction range, really cool stuff. Dirty expensive, but really cool stuff. Anyway, back to my Harry Potter. Um, the idea of being able to teach, again, for argument's sake, the homeless, I'm on this particular bend right now, um, teaching someone with no skills how to do pottery isn't hard. Again, as um, Rick Solo, one of my high school teachers, used to say, it doesn't take a rocket launcher to know how to do whatever, in this case, pottery. And <laughs> um, the product is simple. If you fire it and it isn't what you want, crumble it up in a dust, soak it in water, let it hydrate again, roll it around, and put it in the new batch. Infinitely recyclable. It is amazing stuff. If you break a dish, crumble it up, re-soak it, re-fire it, and away you go. Great. Um, so, um, again, I implore you, do some research. The leech wheel, leech pottery, um, it, the, the potential is amazing. We also had the idea, I'm pretty sure Lady Raven was helpful for this as well, um, as she inspired many of the ideas that went towards uh, Eco Village Message Forum uh, BBS version 1 and 2. If we had newborn children, young children in the community, they can contribute too. We had the idea of putting a pair of footprints from the firstborn child in the community project. You know, take the baby, dip the feet in paint, and put it in the middle of a plate. Put a clear glaze in the plate, fire it in the kiln, and you'll get these two perfect footprints in the bottom of a plate. And it would be devastatingly cute, and it would probably be unique enough to sell, especially since they are real footprints, especially since they are genuine, and actually a real infant made them. I love the idea as well of a, of a coffee mug or a drinking glass with a pair of, you know, paw prints on both sides of the glass, as though the children played with finger paint, grab the glass, and had a drink, dip it in glaze, fire it away. I think it would be really cute, and I think it would really sell. Um, also, for the sake of uniqueness, since, as Ms. Leach had always said, if you want carbon copies, go buy from Kmart. If you want something really unique and precious and valuable and are willing to pay the price for it, you buy it from an artisan. So if we gave, you know, children um, in our children's crash, hopefully I'll make a video of that in the near future, but not in this series, you have half a dozen young children, ages one to four, I guess. You give them a lot of pigment, uh, probably a plant-based paint or a dye. You know, you uh, you supervise them, you, you give them the dishes, let them play on mattresses or something so that doesn't break anything, and you let them paint whatever they like. When they're finished or bored, you dip them in glaze and you fire them. Whatever the children make, they make. You won't find a more unique pattern anywhere on earth, and I think it'll do a, lot, a whole lot of fun. Children are entertained, um, they get the chance to play with paint and make a mess, and the community gets a chance to benefit from it. I think it's very honest, and I think it's very noble. So, that's pottery. Up next are textiles, weaving, looming, and so forth. So, I look forward to your questions, comments, concerns, etc., and I will produce volume three of this particular series very shortly. Have a great night.